All right, welcome back to part two of our Realty series. I'm back with Remy and we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the world of tokenized real estate. So Remy, I want to uh, ask you if you could just elaborate on tokenized real estate and specifically in the real realty ecosystem. Of course. So tokenized real estate is, we took a property, we didn't reinvent the wheel. We took a regular real estate investor structure where you buy a property, an investment property through an LLC and issued the unit of this LLC. Each unit is represented by a token. So we fractionalized and tokenized the ownership of the property, which allowed us to issue tokens at a $50 entry barrier. So you could actually invest in real estate in different states in the US for $50. You could pick your location, you could pick your house, you could pick your building on which you want to invest, depending on the geographical location, on the income, on the fact that you like or dislike the property. And so $50 is the entry. Yes. Is there a minimum number of tokens that you need to purchase? No, there is no minimum tokens. $50 is the minimum that you need to purchase. So where are these properties currently located? Currently, we have properties in Michigan, in Ohio, in New York State, in Florida. And I think we have one more state, but I'm blanking out. It's okay. <laughs> that's, that's a fair share of states. And um, where are you positioning yourself in the market in regard to other you know, real estate investment opportunities? Clearly, this one's much more accessible. It's much more accessible, yes. It's much more liquid as well. Okay. You don't have, like you don't have a barrier of entry, which is $50. You don't have to be married to your real estate. As a real estate investor, I used to go into a deal for five to seven years. And I needed to look for one buyer to be able to exit my investment. Today, you have thousands of buyers for properties and with a very liquid uh, asset. So if you want to sell your property the next day after you bought it, there will be someone to buy it. Realty will buy it back from you as well because we believe in the property we offer. Wow. Um, so with that being said, um, are most of your properties owned by multiple people or are people kind of getting in on that lower investment opportunity? Uh, an average property has between 500 to 1200 investors in it depending on the size of the property, of course. We do restrict the maximum investment. Contrary to most, we don't have a minimum, but we have a maximum purchase oh, per property. Okay, and what's the maximum? It's 10% uh, of the property. Okay, great. And that reason is to give a chance for everyone to participate because they tend to sell quite quickly. And so you're, how, when are you releasing properties for sale? You know, is it super frequently? Is it... It's, uh, we try to do it every week or wow. twice a week, but it, it could sometimes be two weeks or three weeks without a property. It depends on the deal sourcing, on the due diligence period, because like, like any real estate investment, it's not just putting a property for sale. You need to vet the property. You need to check the tenants. You need to check the rent roll. You need to make sure that the structural, the foundations right. of the properties are safe and sound. That's a great you know, volume of properties and you know, it sounds like you're really getting a lot of people in the door, the demand is there. We are getting to our 200th property, close wow. to a thousand units tokenized and fractionalized today. So... No, I know real, real estate's in such demand and, you know, it's, it, I believe it is historically one of the best performing investment opportunities. It is. Real it estate, is. Real estate is one of the best performing investment opportunities as long as you have time. Historically okay. speaking, it has been the biggest wealth generator in history, up to Bitcoin, but that's a whole different that's story. That's a different animal. Um, so Realty obviously making it very accessible to this very well-performing, uh, historically well-performing investment opportunity and giving it, not reinventing the wheel, but giving it you know, a new life and a new way to uh, access a very liquid market. That's which right. was previously not as liquid. Previously was not liquid at all. Yeah. So, all right, we have uh, episode three coming up next. So back to Herwig and we are done. <laughs>